The patriarchy compels you. 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 Now I don't know if you're a fan of horror films. I I am. <clears throat> Particular thrillers. I don't like um I don't like movies that are like extremely messy. You know, I'm not like a big I don't need to be seeing people's body parts separated from their bodies, all that kind of stuff. I, I don't need to see that to be spooked. I don't need to see that to to be into, you know, a new horror film or some something of that nature. But the Exorcist is a film franchise that I hold near and dear. One of the first, um, you know, spooky movies I've ever seen. The movie totally holds up. And now they have released a sequel of sorts. But it, 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 it's being reviewed very poorly. Now, I will admit, as a fan of the genre, and if you are also a fan of the genre, you know that horror movies generally do not get good reviews unless um, they're woke, you know, unless they're sticking it to the, the white man or something like that. This movie, The Exorcist Believer, is very diverse. And, uh, you know, of course, they have two kids and it's a white girl and a black girl now. And it's two different families. And everybody's in it, it does the movie didn't look good in and, and it's being released at a time in which there are numerous possession movies out there much better than this um i even thought you know i've seen a couple possession i watched this like australian possession movie called talk to me it was pretty good it was a little cheesy gen z at times but it was pretty good um the the Pope's Exorcist with Russell Crowe, pretty good. Um, Nefarious, pretty good. So the you know the idea that you know the Exorcist is the only player in this game uh, has long dissipated. Now this particular movie did not do well. It's sitting at a twenty four percent with critics. Two hundred of them went to go see it. And fans gave it a 58%. There are some interesting takes in this film that might lead to uh, why maybe it's not doing so good. You know, I, I don't know if I could say that for sure, but they have an interesting line. The Exorcist Believer and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad line of dialogue. So the exorcist believer writes in exorcist believer when Chris is asked why she wasn't Chris is this old lady here why she wasn't allowed in the room when Father Marin and Father Karras were exorcising the demon out of Reagan she says quote I wasn't part of the patriarchy That's right the patriarchy that seems like just a stupid throwaway line that doesn't mean anything. But when you think about how reductive it is, how, complete, how it completely ignores the context of the first movie, and the fact that the two men died to save her daughter is just completely ignored. You think about how it encapsulates how so many people view the world through this dumbed down, black and white lens devoid of any nuance, you start to realize why modern movie writing is so terrible. They literally have the dumbest people in the world writing all of our entertainment now. Yeah. I mean, this, this movie is absolutely tanking at the box office. And you know what, what I think is you know, interesting? You see like so many people uh, don't like it. You can see this. The Exorcist Believer goes woke and tanks. Watch the footage that sends an agenda-driven message. This is a Cosmic Book News. It's a rag site that hates me. It's funny, every time I cover one of their articles, they update the headline and say, Jeremy from the Quarterings not allowed to use us. Sorry, I am allowed to it. You know, I'm allowed to use it. You can put it behind a paywall if you want, um, but I'm allowed to commentate on your articles. Uh, you see, and it's Rip. The Exorcism Believers confirmed the flick went woke. 
which probably explains why it's tanking on Rotten Tomatoes and at the box office. I disagree. If it really had gone that woke, the critics would have reviewed it better. I haven't, to see, I haven't seen the movie, don't plan on now, but I caught wind of a comment on Deadline that compared the film to a title of a certain book by Hillary Clinton. It wasn't very good or scary. It should have been called Exorcist Believer. It should have been called Exorcist. It takes a village to perform an exorcism, states the comment. I reached out on social media for confirmation. The Exorcism Believer is woke AF, and now I got it. You see, uh, it takes it takes a village is woke. Haven't seen the movie myself, so wondering why. I mean, it takes a village. I mean, I don't know if that's really woke. People say that, you know, all the time. It, look, if you're a fan of actual horror films and thrillers, you suffer through a lot of trash. We watch a lot of very bad movies because, well, we're just happy to get any love. Social media users posted the clip featuring the return of Ellen Burstyn as Chris McNeil, who says something that's really shocking, well, not shocking if you know the agenda-driven woke crowd, referring to the classic 1973 movie directed by William Fredkin, Alan uh, Burstyn's Chris McNeil says, I actually didn't witness it, you know, the exorcism, they wouldn't let me, asked why not. She replies, my opinion? Because I'm not a part of their damn patriarchy. The man she is talking to is black and laughs. As pointed out by the Twitter user who leaked the footage, the scene makes no sense. There were actually nine deaths in the original The Exorcist, and Father Marin and Father Damien sacrificed themselves at the end of the movie to save her daughter. But in the end, we see The Exorcist Believer. It's all about dumping on the original movie and sending the message that just because she's female, she wasn't allowed to be involved in an exorcism, which of which she has zero experience and knowledge. Well, actually, there was a pretty decent exorcism movie where uh it's it was a called it's not called the nun but it was um about a female uh nun who wanted to be an exorcist and it was okay most exorcist exorcism movies are okay and i wish I, hopefully that name of that movie will come to me i think they're making a sequel because of course they're making a sequel the thing is like horror movies are generally pretty low budget and so they don't need to make massive amounts of money at the box office so they can have four five six seven eight sequels without like setting any kind of records or anything like that um you know and you see like uh you know we see but we see an exorcist believer uh it's about dumping on the original i don't know i mean i just think from what i gather from the preview this was like a hard no for me will i watch it uh, when it comes out streaming for free, yes, I probably will. Um, but I think that that's a lot of people now. People are just not paying for mid movies, uh, and I, I think that that is probably you know what I saw when I saw the preview. I was like, this is extremely underwhelming, and I'm not going to pay fifteen dollars to see it. I'd rather just, and usually around this time of year, I start rewatching horror, horror films and, uh, I'd rather watch the classics. I don't love, like I said, I don't love like uh, messy horror films. I don't like really love, I've got a lot of affinity for like nightmare on Elm street and, um, you know, Friday the 13th. I, I do even, even like ho- the Halloween movies. I do have a lot, a soft spot for those movies in my heart. Um, but uh, I think that they're, they're not like my jam. I like thrillers. I like, you know, stuff like, um, you know, even it follows was a newer one. That was pretty good. I've been pretty open about the type of movies that I like. I just watched um, evil dead rises, which was another possession movie that came out. That was a combination of kind of gross freak out and also possession. But even that was okay i would not have been happy if i paid 15 bucks to see it anyway they continue why would she be allowed in an exorcism when she's hysterical she isn't an exorcist doesn't know how to fight demons and we can add that the demon would likely want to possess her when getting removed from the child as again she would be the weakest person in the room and no not because she's not a woman 
Regarding the reviews, Exodus Believer is at a 23% on Rotten Tomatoes with a 55% audience score, giving it an 5.2 on IMDb. The flick was also tracking over 30 million this weekend at the box office, but now is estimated to bring 28 million. Um, it'll be VOD by Halloween. Universal spent $400 million to acquire the rights in 2021, and it's been announced that Exorcist Believer is supposed to drum up a lot more support for the movies and at least two more of a trilogy. But all this woke garbage is nothing more than pure vomit. It was a bad throwaway line. It was a bad throwaway line. You know, you see the tweet here. You know, was that necessary? No. You know. I didn't actually witness it, you know, the exorcism. It was nothing. Why not? My opinion, because I'm not a member of the damn patriarchy. I mean, like, why? For me, when you put stuff like this in movies, it's incredibly immersion breaking. It's incredibly immersion breaking. And it makes me not want to watch it. But, you know, I'm fine. There's plenty of other good horror films that I haven't seen yet. There are plenty of other, um, you know, movies I can rewatch. Nightcrawler, Creep 1 and 2. These are classics. Um, I thought the, um, the Stranger, which is another Australian film based on a true story, was really good. I thought Black Phone, I think people unfair, were unfair with Black Phone. I think that was an awesome movie. Um, very, very good. Highly recommend. There's lots of, of, of good horror that you can go see. You like good possession movies? You could see Nefarious. You could watch, I mean, I'd even recommend Evil Dead Rises for, to watch for free. I wouldn't pay much for it. But uh, there's plenty out there, so I won't miss not seeing this in the theater.